Right, so I'm using the South Dakota grazing stick and one of the really helpful features on the grazing stick is there is a section that will help you to measure the productivity of your pasture. And it sits between about 21 inches and 26 inches, but there is a table on the stick and it has a estimated air dry weight in pounds per inch of grass. So the grazing stick breaks down different categories of grassland communities. Cool season and legumes, cool season introduced, cool season natives, a mix of native cool and warm season grasses, and then a warm season dominated. And so the stick also breaks down different stand densities from normal to excellent stand densities. So you need to kind of decide what sort of stand density that you're dealing with. There is sort of a, a hint here. It says stand density refers to the relative closeness of desirable plants. An excellent stand density will have a cover greater than 85% and be vigorous. So if you've got something where you've got very little ground cover, you've got um, probably what you would consider to be good plant vigor, it's very leafy, you're probably dealing with something on the high end of normal or the low end of excellent type of stand density. So for example, a native mixed in cool and warm um, plant community, the Normal stand density can range from 100 to 200 pounds per inch of grass, whereas an excellent stand density can range between 200 and 300 pounds per inch. So knowing your stand density is very important uh, to getting an accurate measurement when using the grazing stick. So when you're using this, you can do some clipping. Um, which will help you to calibrate your stand density a little bit. But usually I find on well-managed rangeland, especially in Western South Dakota, um, somewhere on the upper end of normal or the lower end of an excellent stand density is where a lot of those plant communities fall out for our good deep soiled rangelands. There is a guideline on the grazing stick um, and it says measure the average height in inches of the vegetative forage in the plant community, not seed head height. So that's very important to do. Do not measure the seed culms, only measure the standing leafy material or the vegetative tillers of the grasses. So moving to the other end of the grazing stick, um, there is an important little piece of information here, a black strip that says do not graze. And so it extends from about zero all the way to four inches. And so really what this is getting at is how much residual plant material do we need to maintain that site to protect the soils and to maintain the health of that plant community. And it turns out that about four inches when you have 200 pounds per inch of productivity in a grassland is about 800 pounds. So really, it, in order to be able to protect that site and maintain its properties, and so we don't see any resource degradation, about 800 pounds or four inches of height is the minimum that we should provide.